That's too dark. There it is. Thank you all for tuning into the Heartbreak Doll Review. Today we're going to be going over the Black Web Portable Battery Bank LED Charger. Sorry, I'm trying to do this. This is my third attempt with this video. I tried a few times, only at two minute intervals, off of a portable camera or a smaller action camera I've been trying out as well. Alright, what is a battery bank? The battery bank is a portable battery charger which lets you charge your devices. Whether it be cell phone, uh, cell phone, MP3, headphone, uh, well, uh, Bluetooth headphones, etc. And this is it. I purchased this in like December, January, somewhere around that time frame because we were going on a camping trip and it was starting to rain and it was freezing outside and I bought this just for, I was worried about charging my stuff. I had a solar one but eh. So to get to your actual charging ports and whatnot and to charge the bank itself is in here. Now this, you, you hear that? This has some good weight to it. Which I believe that's also part of the design too, because it's supposed to basically be messed around, thrown around, not cared about because of the rugged, rugged uh, design aspect of it. Uh, it does also come with it did did come with a uh, bottle cap opener, uh, carabiner, and also the a micro um, micro USB uh, attachment. This is the one that, that did come with it. You get that. And here's your outputs right here, actually. So output, I would put about uh, five volts, five volts per per two per two point four amps. Uh, USB five. If you know what this means, I just know that it does charge pretty quickly. It managed to charge phones, MP3s, and headphones from Z from absolutely just being a portable brick to about um, full within. Within an hour, sometimes a little bit more if I'm actually using it. But like if I was actually using my phone right now while charging it, it would still charge it. If I cut my phone off and let it just charge by itself, it charges fairly quickly. Now for the actual block itself to be charged, eh, I've plugged it up to the wall, a car, and out of curiosity my uh, clock which has a USB charge port. So if I can just plug stuff up to it that takes USB. USB and it took about if I left it alone it took about maybe three hours ish or so thereabout so it does take a while to charge but for what you're getting though whatever you need charge it 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 does it uh, it does have uh, looking into it right now but rapid conditions operating conditions this device make this device may cause harmful this device may cause harmful interference and this device must accept any interference including interference made in China <laughs> including interference that may cause undesired operation made in China this was before the whole corona thing or leading up to it whatever but I like the design of it. It's pretty tough. It's, I've dropped this thing a few times. I've not had any issues with it. I've dropped my phone a few times as well, but I've not had any issues with that either. But here's the seal. Here's the pretty much the magic to it right now. This whole seal right here, it's rugged. It's riveted. So when it's ribbed like that, ladies, <clears throat> you basically push forward up here to create a seal. So this way it pushes into it, and then you push it down all around. And then it creates a nice hermetic seal to keep all this from getting wet. I've dropped this in a, in a puddle of mud. When I was having to clean up my campsite, I had sealed it up first. And then I panicked, oh no! And then I pulled it open. The, all this was still dry. Results may vary depending on how hot it is, how cold it is, where you're at, what kind of water it is. This was just fresh rainwater and mud and junk mixing around. This is why I this is why I did the front first because to try to do the from the back to the front does not work out too well. Boom. Also here's the LED light if you're asking about it. There it is. They still see your battery light. So in an emergency if you did need lighting, this this is there for you. It's 
Now I did also try to do the thing where you can basically plug this into itself and let it charge. That does not work. I was curious about it and it didn't work like how I thought it would. But for emergency though, or just a in general portable bank thing that you might need, where be where do you be for civilian at work or uh, military? This I would say buy these. These are a good buy. Now we're gonna come to the price. You have to come to price this early in this type of review because this is sounds like pretty much is sort of self-explanatory pricing. Ah. In total, dust and water resistant. This was about, if I recall right, prices are going to vary from state to state, region to region as well. This was about, plus taxes included, in my area 6% tax, this was about $23. Plus tax is about $24.98. 2446 somewhere around there for the price so for basically I have a charge that I, I can charge something from zero to full it holds it holds its own charge as well for when you do need it because it's a battery so for about good I can get my phone run this battery down pretty quickly when I'm on it on it and I've charged this thing over the course of like eight hours in a day so once it starts to run down, blow it up, start to run down again. I got about eight to ten hours worth of use from from stop and go with with my phone. MP3, full charge, gun is it's done. This is a good buy. I enjoyed this. Yes, it's not the solo one, but I didn't. This is I didn't want something completely bulky. Yes, it is bulky, but it's not like gigantic like the other portable battery bank things that I've seen out there. No, it's not solar panel, so no, it doesn't have any solar adapts, uh, solar adaptations on it. So boohoo there, but for what it is, it works. So that's all I get. This is not sponsored. I bought this with my own money. Black Web. They got some pretty good products out there. Brought to you by Walmart. Again, not sponsored. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning into the Heartbreak Dog. Hope to look. Look forward to hearing from y'all at some point. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions for me, down in the, leave them down in the comment section below. Like this video, leave a thumbs up, and eh, for the heck of it, share it around to your friends. Let them know that there's actually good products out at Walmart that you don't need to order off Amazon. Or if you do order off Amazon, support these people. I'm okay with that. That's all I got. Thank y'all for tuning in. Have a blessed day. Bye. -bye.